So welcome to this month's Vanners collaboration. And this month we're looking at possible changes to the highway code. Now we all understand and we've all read what's in the highway code, but uh, what alterations would we make? So here are our top five alterations to the highway code. Now don't forget to watch the other uh, videos in this collaboration and there'll be a link at the end of this video so you can watch it. Now I've brought along some friends who are going to help me out with this uh, collaboration because I find it a little bit difficult to see what we could possibly change in the highway code. So I'll kick us off. Um, in the highway code there's a requirement for tyres to have no less than 1.5 millimetres of tread on the on the tyre. I think that's a little bit low so I, I would suggest that it's a minimum of two millimetres uh, for the tyre tread. I think that would be an excellent safety requirement. So I've brought along some expert help here and we've got uh, Kevin from <laughs> <laughs> from Yorkshire Motor Roamers, and yeah, you, you've right. got some suggestions, or you, a yeah, suggestion, haven't I, you? Well, I have a couple, I have a couple uh, but there's one that's not broadcastable, and the other <laughs> one, that, um, well, you know when you're driving along and you've got the wife side the side of you, and um, you're on the motorway and you're approaching traffic, and she's braking already. Um, <laughs> well, I think... To save them the trouble, they should put, it should be compulsory uh, that you have a wife braking pedal <laughs> in the passenger footwell. You know, just to help them, to give them a little bit of ease so they're not as anxious. So that's, uh, that's my thought. Um, and it might keep her feet off the dashboard as well, which is equally <laughs> yeah. dangerous. Yeah, an yeah. excellent safety yeah. suggestion yeah. there. Thank you. <laughs> We've been talking about what we'd like to have in a car, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. The drivers. Do you only think it would assist the driver, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Stress relief. Definitely an extra pedal. A brake pedal. Push your foot on whenever you feel you need to put the brake on. Yes. We think that would be really good. Something maybe a bit more we can grab hold of when we have to lean over. That's right. Those few inches, you know, when something's coming towards you. Yeah, when something's coming towards you and you have to lean in. <laughs> Stop you from getting some hit. Something to really grip on. Yeah, when you're exactly. A bit worried, yes. Yeah. yes. Well, an extra so, grip on the dashboard. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 that would be nice. Or like you get on, uh, on steering wheels, like kiddies have. Yeah. 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 On, good. on grab handles, like um, you know, like you have on a roller coaster. Yes. Yes. yes that yes. would be good. Yes. <laughs> yes. And try to just gen gently hold them, not make it too obvious. Yes. Grip and hold of it too hard. So we've got. Trevor from Poshcats okay. Camping. <laughs> Hello. And uh, you've got a couple of suggestions, haven't you? I have, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I've forgotten them until now. <laughs> but uh, the first one would be, um, I think there could be something in the highway code about car sharing. Um, I think in other countries, um, when you car share, you're able to use the bus lanes and uh, taxi lanes. And yeah. certain times of day, there could be access to those lanes to reduce the number of cars in a town or, you know, in um, congested areas. Right. Okay. I think it needs a bit more think, you know, thought and yeah. uh, so on. But certainly oh, there could be, uh, um, you know, examples when that may work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a sensible suggestion. And I can't remember <laughs> what the other one was. Uh, you had another suggestion as well, didn't you? I did, yeah. yeah. And um, I thought... Just, it was, stop here for a sec. Yeah. There's, there's some countries that, on their traffic lights, yeah. um, and along the roadside, when there's um, speeding, <laughs> yeah. you know, the speed warnings, yeah. so when you come into a village, um, there's uh, a countdown. Yeah. So if, rather than the light going from red, amber, green, it will say there's 10 seconds, 9 seconds, yeah. 8 seconds. Yeah. Now, we wouldn't want that to encourage people to get into first gear and roar off, but um, I think it would be quite useful because sometimes the traffic lights can s sort of be red forever. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. nice to know that, oh, in 10 seconds time, it's going you to go can get green. going again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I think that'll be a Oh, no, good that's a good one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got a, like a final sort of... Uh, suggestion and it's really about motomes it's motome specific and the highway code talks about unladen weights for motomes 
Now, how many Motons drive around unladen? I mean, by the time you put the cooker in there, the heater and everything else, it's not unladen. So how many people know what the uh, speed limit is for a motorhome that's over 3.05 tonnes? Mm. So I would say the highway code really ought to refer to the maximum weight for speed limits. Yeah. And, uh, and that should be three and a half tonnes. So the speed limits should depend on that size. And everyone would understand that. Uh, make much more sense. Simplify it. Simplify it, yeah. So, on that sensible note, <laughs> I'll encourage you to watch the other videos uh, in this collaboration and hopefully we'll get some common sense in there. Yeah, so that's it for now. Um, I'd just like to say... Bye! <laughs>